ticket automation using workflow rules. Under admin settings, we have workflow. Now let's just take a look at the default workflow that we offer. Now workflow has mainly three sections. One is the event and the second is the criteria and the third is the action. So based on what event you have set, the system will try to match the criteria that you have set here. And if the criteria is matched, the action part will be executed. Now in this default workflow, if you see we have set new ticket and the client reply event that means whenever there's a new ticket or a client reply and in the criteria we have set subject content blank this means for every ticket or for the all tickets having any subject and in the action part we have set change the ticket status to open this means whenever there is a new ticket or a new client reply, every time the ticket status will be always changed to open status. And the next we have set apply SLA to default. We have created a default SLA rule. And here under this workflow rule we are applying the default SLA plan. Now let's see how this workflow rule works. I'll create a simple ticket. Now I'm going to create this as client. Now if you see this ticket, the default status that it got created that is open and the SLA plan that applied is a default SLA plan because that's what we have set in our default workflow rule. So that's how the workflow will execute. Now let's take another example. Say we wanted to change a uh, ticket status to awaiting when a staff replies to a ticket. We'll select the event staff reply and we'll keep the criteria subject contents black. That means for all the tickets. And we want to set the status to awaiting. So now when a staff re replies to a ticket automatically the ticket will go to the awaiting status. Now let's just test this workflow rule. I'll try to reply ticket. Now if you see this was the open status for the ticket and now once you reply to this the system will automatically change the ticket status to awaiting and you can also save the same through the audit log. Now this was the ticket reply and after that the system has automatically changed the status to awaiting from open. Similarly, you can create more workflow rules. Let's add one new. Now we want to assign a ticket based on certain criteria. Now if there's a new ticket and 
say if the priority for the ticket is critical we can add multiple criteria here for example and maybe subject content urgent and now we want to assign this ticket to admin you can go on creating as many rules you want to create from workflow I'm going to add one more say we wanted to request a customer feedback whenever the ticket is closed by a staff member now here we will select the event change status and in the criteria we will set this if the status equals to close so if the event is change status and if the status equals to close then we want to send an email to client requesting the feedback now in the action area we'll set this send email to client now here we have some default email template for customer feedback and save this that's how you can create different workflow rules to achieve the ticket automation